Welcome to DX Sudoku video number 85. In this video, I'm going to solve an extreme puzzle. For solving this puzzle, we will need the seven base puzzle solving techniques, and we will be using by value elimination to solve this extreme puzzle. We have launched Hadoku and we select extreme from the drop down menu. We then click on the create generate new puzzle button. All right, this puzzle has a fin, swordfish, three XY chains, and one nice loop. We'll begin by looking for naked and hidden singles. We highlight all the candidates having a possible one candidate. Oh, there's a, a naked single with the eight right there. The nine, the three, the nine, the six. <laughs> Nothing with the one. All right, we highlight all, all the candidates having a two. Here's a hidden single with the two. Double click on it and Hadoku will select the hidden single. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Look at the threes. Here we got a type two lock candidates claiming, so we exclude the three, exclude the three. Fours. Here we got a, uh, a hidden single with the four. Got a one five, one five pair. Could have did it with the naked pair too. Uh, 1515 naked pair, so those 1 5 gets rid of that's going to be a 9, so we make that a 9. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, let's go with the 5s. Nothing here. Go to the 6s. Nothing there. Go to the 7s. Oh, uh, type 1 lock candidates. Get rid of the 7 here. Exclude 7. Exclude 7. Oh, type 2 lock candidates right here, so we get rid of these two. Exclude, exclude, all right, eight, uh, another set of type two, get rid of that one, nothing there, nothing there, okay, the rest of it looks good, nine, nothing there, let's go one more sweep through looking for hidden singles and naked singles, uh, nothing there, nothing there, that looks good, that looks good, the fives, Sixes, sevens, eights, nines. Okay, now we're going to look for naked pairs. So I highlight all the cells, hit, click on the XY button, highlights all the by value cells, and we're looking for naked pairs. One, five, one, eight, uh, one, five, one, five, but there's nothing to do. One, five, one, five, here's some. Uh, exclude this one. Exclude the one here, if it lets me. Exclude one. Exclude five. So we got a four seven four seven pair. There are no four sevens in here. One five one five one seven one seven. No one sevens in there. Oh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, okay. Uh, now we're going to look for um, naked triples. Let's take a quick look for naked triples. Two five one five. No no no. Four seven four six nine four six. Close one eight one eight nine close one one eight one eight nine again. Oh, that's real close. Okay, one eight nine one eight. Nope. Two five eight five eight. All the fours ruin that. Let's see three seven four seven nine seven eight. Okay, so there are no naked triples. Let's make one more pass. See if if if. Uh, Clearing out those uh, that naked double exposed any hidden singles. I'm naked double, naked pair. All right, uh, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Okay, at this point we're going to do by value elimination. So we select all the by value cells, and now we're going to look for a cell that has two strong links out of it. So let's look at the one nine. So we'll select the ones. There's no strong link there. Oh, there's a strong link right there. So we'll use that cell for the starting cell. With the nine as the candidate. Oops. Go back to here. We want active cell. Let's show the color palette. We'll select the cell gray. If you don't select the cell gray, you'll forget which one was the starting cell. Believe me, I've done it. That's going to be the uh, starting cell of the chaining sequence. The starting candidate of the chaining sequence will be the nine. We're showing the nines right now, so we're going to put that strong link in right there. There's one, another strong link here. But now let's put all the weak links in. Weak link, weak link, weak, weak, weak link. 
okay there's a bunch couple here kill that kill that means we're pretending the green one is on so uh let's go let's choose the ones here get rid of this one that's off that's off this is on so that's off that's off this seven's going to be on because it's the only candidate left in the cell uh, that seven's going to be off, uh, off because of this seven so that four is going to be on let's select the fours Let's finish that. So there's a four here. We get rid of that one. That one. Uh, that's going to be on. Those are off. Go up here. Off. Off. So we've got a X wing with the remaining four candidates. Nothing we're going to do with that. Here's a pair. Eight six pair. Let's see. Oh, get rid of that one. That one. That one. Okay, that helps. Um, let's look at the sixes. I think there's a six here. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, right here, there's a six. So we got that is turned on. That's off. And we have two sixes here, two sixes here. Nothing we're going to do with that. Um, do we do, let's do the sevens here. I think there's something to do with that. Here's a seven. That's off. That's off. So that's going to be on. So we're building out our chaining sequence pretty good so far. You never know, it could stall at any moment. Here we get a 258, 258, 58, triple, 1515 pair, uh, another triple here, 181318, 138, triple. Another, that triple goes this way also. Uh, let's see, um, nines, do we do nines? Uh, all right, let's start from the beginning. Let's look at, a, look at them all in, all in order. Start with the ones, <clears throat> nothing to do, oh, Right here, that's on, so that's got to be off, which means that 8 is on. We put that 8 on, we select the 8s, let's figure all what's left of that. That's going to be off, those two are on, those two are on, those two are on, those two are on, that's on, and that's on. Okay, nothing we could do with that, let's look at the 1s again. Nothing we could do with the 1s. Let's go to the twos. Uh, we haven't touched that yet. Threes. Uh, we haven't touched. Oh, we got one three touched. Uh, there's nothing that's not going to help. Four. Four seven four seven. Oh, we got a five right there. Just popped out. All right, that, let's put the fives on. Work on that. Okay, that's on. So that's off, 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 off. The one and the two are on. Oh, now we're cooking. All right. Here we go. So that's on. That's going to be off. So that's going to be on. That's going to be on. Let's get rid of that. Right, what are we on the fives? So let's see. That five gets rid of that one. That one. Uh, there's only one left in this block. So we'll choose that five. There. Okay, now. That gets rid of that five, so there's only one five left in this block. That five kills that five. So there's two ways to get this one. All right. We'll select five being on. Okay. Fives are. Uh, we got these four down. Oh, that one's off because of that one. So we got these two. We're not going to do those. All right. Let's see here. Six. That's off, off. We got these two, those two. Seven. We got those. We got that. We got those two. All right, nothing we're going to do with that. Eights. Here's an eight. These two. We got those two. Okay, so these are off, off. Here we have a set of locked candidate level candidates. The, the eight is either going to be here or here, so that means this eight is off. Which means we can turn this one on. And that means that one is on. That one's going to be off, so those one and three are going to be on. Alright, that, that helps us. Let's see. Put the ones back on for a second. Let's get rid of the... Gets rid of that one. Get rid of that one, which means that one's on. So the seven's going to be on, the seven's going to be off there. So we could set those two on. If that's on, we're still showing the ones. It gets rid of that one, that one. There's only one left in that block. Might finish out the ones here. Oh, that eight right there got, has to be on. If that and that's gonna be eight's gonna be off, so that nine's gonna be on, and that's gonna make that off, which means the three is on. 
we get a bunch out of that. So let's shut those off. Okay. Uh, oh, we got so much to do here. Um, let's stick with the ones. Where's the last one? That one. One off, off. So this has got to be on. We we'll just work our way through all the numbers. We'll go to the twos next after this. That's off, which means all those are that has the last one that we have to turn on. So we get all the ones done. Oh, if that's on, that that five's got to be on. Because this five is off. Oh, and that three's got to be on right there. Missed that one. Oh, what do we got? If that three off off which means the seven is on so that's off we got those two all right that, now that seven's gonna be off which means the eight's gonna be on which means that's off and that's on that's gotta be off we, we didn't check that one off all right that's off 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 so we have five that's off so that seven is on now we're getting the chaining sequence done that's all that matters all right so the ones are done. Let's look at the twos. Oh, I almost got this thing filled out. Uh, that, uh, let's see. Well, that's going to be on. So that's off and that's off. So that's on, so that's off. That's on, so that's off, which means this is the last one here. That's going to be off, which means that, that eight is on. You know how much left to do. Well, if that eight's on... This eight's off, which means the six is on, so that one's off. So those are the two for this block that are on. And that six means that six is off, which means that four is on. And if that four is on, that four is off, so that's there and that's there. We're getting near the end of the sequence. I don't even have to select anything else. We're almost done. That three's got to be on. Which means the nine is on, which means the six is on. No, no. Is that right? Uh oh. Wow, down to the last one's a contradiction. Let's go slow here. That three is on, which means that's off. The nine is on, which means that's off. Oh, that's already off because of the four. So the six is the last one. We're good. All right, let's check to see if, if we solve me, I solved the whole puzzle right off the bat here. So let's look. Um, uh, what I like to do whenever we fill it out completely with by-value elimination, I like to go through each each of the houses and look to, look for um, contradictions because it's so easy to miss them when you're filling out the puzzle. So it's, what I do is I go one, three, five, nine, two. I like to sound it out to see if I repeat a number. Eight, nine, seven, six, four, three. Oh, I'm sorry, one. Nine, eight, one, four, three, five, seven. Seven one five two eight uh eight three one five seven four three five one seven eight six nine six seven three eight four one five and now let's go vertical nine four seven one nine one eight three six one seven five three eight eight Five one three five eight seven one nine three oh three we had three twice no 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 it's just from the previous one five seven four one good so far four eight five two three six nine two four five eight seven uh six one sec okay now I don't normally do the blocks that much I I don't usually I catch those it's it's the it's when I'm working over here, then and on the, on this row, and there's another contradiction on the other side, like three two blocks over. It's usually when I miss, but we'll we'll go through the blocks real quick. One eight nine, one seven three eight. Good good good. Three five four six nine seven one. Good good good. One seven three eight five. Good one five, four seven nine one eight three five. Good good good. Two five one six four three five seven two eight um, seven good and, and 
uh, four, eight, six. Okay, so at this point we checked there's no contradictions as far as we can see. So that means we got to select one as the value of our starting cell, and it's blue, so we got it right. So now we select all the green values throughout the, the puzzles. So we make that nine, we make this eight, make that eight, make that three, make that five. Make that nine. That's the beauty of by-value elimination is you can solve the whole puzzle if you if you get the sequence, the logic of you know all the way through a whole sweep. A lot of times you end up with a contradiction, and we would have had to probably do it a second time, but but this time I'll show you a trick. So um, what I like to do is I like to just get a, a, a few of these cells to where I only have um, naked singles, and then what I'll do is I'll kill the paint, I'll, I'll reset the colors, get rid of them, and I'll just double click on these singles. It's just faster to fill the puzzle out. So I'm double, I'm double clicking on all the naked singles in Hadoku and it selects that as the value of the cell. You can see we, we pretty much got this puzzle whipped. What was it, 2700? Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Alright, and the puzzle is now complete. This completes DX Sudoku video number 85. Please support DX Sudoku by purchasing my book on Amazon. Thank you for watching and thank you for buying.